Hi guys, welcome to my video. My name is Laura. It's the first time I'm doing a YouTube video, so excuse me if my video seems a little green. In the future, I'm hoping to share with you guys some designer item unboxing, designer item reviews, travel, and maybe some dining. Um, those are the things that I enjoy and love doing, so I'll just like to share those experiences with you guys. That said, I'll just dive right in. Today, I will be sharing with you guys the things that I purchased in France. Basically, this was like a very last minute trip. Um, one of my girlfriend is going to Europe for a month and for the second half of the trip, she was going to be alone. And with the Euro dropping so low, I just couldn't resist and I decided to tag along on the last leg of the trip and since the euro is so cheap right now. And one of the main focus for me for this trip is to shop. So my favorite brands right now is Hermes and Chanel. And you see they're both French brands. And that was the main focus of my trip. And one thing I have to say is that I think Paris is a shopping heaven. It's kind of a myth that I would like to debunk and I'll go into detail as to why. Well, there's like a lot of things I want to talk about. I think the best way for me to get through everything is to split this video into halves. So one is Hermes because as most of you guys know, there's always like a big story when purchasing an Hermes bag. So that would be one segment and the other segment would just be about my general shopping experience in Paris. Why don't we start off with my Hermes purchase. So buying an Hermes bag was something that I really, really wanted to do this trip. So as soon as I booked my trip, I started mapping out where I'm staying at and to see if there was a Hermes store nearby. I know this sounds crazy, but uh, I am crazy. <laughs> so this video is just going to be a pretty detailed Hermes experience throughout France. I think I want to the store in Cannes, in Central Pay, and all three of the store in Paris. So if you're someone who's as dedicated as I was, hopefully you'll find this video helpful. So basically the beginning of the trip um, started out in Cannes, stay at the Hotel Martinez. So about eight minute walking distance, there was the Hermes store. As soon as I landed, I went. I went to the store, I tried to talk to the sales, she was very, very friendly. Oh, I don't even remember what I bought. Let's see. She was like really friendly. And I think I walked into the store. I was wearing my mini Constance. I will attach a photo here of what I was wearing. Um, so I carried my mini Constance with me and I wore like an Hermes sandal. I don't know if that helped. So one thing to note that um, pretty much 80% of the people in the store were carrying like this bag. I've seen Mini Evelyn, Mini Lindy, Kelly, 28, 25s, Birkins, Kelly Picnic, Mini Kelly. Everyone there had like an amazing bag. Um, so the sales at first when I talked to, you know, I started out trying to ask about uh, some sandals. I think that's the thing I always started off with because I love her men's sandals and I never mind having another pair. So even if I don't end up with a bag offer, mine was just walking away with the sandal. I think I started off asking her about a cheaply sandal. Unfortunately, they didn't have it. So I started looking at some um, other accessories. So one of the things I bought was uh, this ring. I forgot the name of the series, but as you can see, I really like it, which is why I'm wearing it. I wore it multiple times on the trip. And another thing that I bought that I really like was this hat. So recently I've been um, really into buying hats. And as you can see, this hat is like very low key. Um, you pretty much cannot tell it's from Hermes. It's very, very young looking. I love the color, it's just very versatile. And Europe in the summer was just like really, really hot. The temperature was like 90 degrees, so I really needed a hat anyways. So I indicated that I wanted these two items and I started the bag conversation. I think I started off with the Mini Lindy because it's a bag that's like kind of hard to get, but it's still not a quota bag. 
she asked me what color I wanted and put it on in her phone. After that, I did try to ask her if she has any Kellys or Birkins, but unfortunately, it was just like a, a flat out no. So at that point, I knew like a mini Lindy was the best I could get. And I was completely fine with that because I don't have a mini Lindy yet. And I was there with my friend and my friend really wanted to look at some Hermes bangles. So we started looking at that. I went to the store like an hour before closing and after looking at all these little accessories, we didn't really have much time for anything else. After my friend looked at the bangles and decided that she was going to get them, I asked the sales again about the bag and she was like, oh, unfortunately, we're closing already, so I don't have time to show it to you. I was like, oh, that's fine. I can come back tomorrow because, you know, the hotel is only like a minute walk away. I was really lucky because my friend's not into her mess, so she didn't mind letting me pay for her bangles and stuff, which is my profile. And this is a receipt right here for the first transaction. And so the bangle she bought was 260 and another one for 270 For me, the hat was 500 euros and this ring is 300 euros. With Hermes, you get 10% of that refund back. So this was the first day. So we were going to Central Pay by Ferry and it was like a designated time. There was no way I could have returned earlier, but I knew that as soon as I was getting off the ferry, I was going to go to the Hermes store. So this, again, sounds crazy, but there is an Hermes store in Central Pay, and I did try there, but the sales there was just so rude. I was actually quite upset leaving the store. The Central Pay store, I think it's separated into two storefronts. So there's one storefront for just like footwear or other things, I didn't go to that store. And there was the main store that I went to. The size of the main store is pretty small. It has two stories, but it's really small. So as soon as I walk in the first floor, it's just like small other goods. Um, there was one sales that was on the floor. I was already assisting someone and one at the cash register. So I went up to the second floor. But I think the second floor only had two or three salesperson. And there were like 20 people waiting to be like served. Interesting thing is that the sales were actually showing bags on the floor. So I think that's why there were so many spectators there trying to see like what's being offered. Um, from the box, I think someone was being offered a mini Constance. I didn't really stay there to watch. It's just, it was just too crazy, too much of a scene. I didn't really want to wait around. And for the other side, they were shown like a of 129 was just not something I was interested in at all. Well, I was up there for like two minutes tops, I left. So I went down to the cash register. I asked her if they sell small leather goods in the other store or any handbags over there. And she just flat out told me that, oh, we're not selling any bags today. At that point, I was so shocked and upset because Obviously, you guys are selling bags. I saw three bags being offered upstairs. I didn't argue with her on the spot. I was just thinking to myself, like, what the? <laughs> like, that is just so rude. It's like being rejected even before you even ask. That's just like the worst feeling. It's like, what, what do you mean? Anyways, I left the store. I didn't even want to deal with it. As soon as I got back to Cannes, I went to the store to my very nice salesperson. And as soon as I walked in, she told me that unfortunately they didn't have the mini Lindy's today, but they did have, they did have the chippy sandals. I'm waiting for these for like a year now and my sales in the US still hasn't given it to me. And you know, I love white shoes. It's like a consolation prize. I took it and uh, this one was... This one was five fifty, which is significantly cheaper than the states. Uh, I think these right now retails for seven ten plus tax. That's like almost eight hundred dollars. Whereas this, um, take into consideration the VAT refund, it's more like five hundred dollars. So it is a steal. And these, I think, on the resale market goes for like fifteen hundred dollars. You know, I was like happy, but. I was expecting a mini Lindy, like I rushed down the ferry to come here. I'm expecting a mini Lindy, but it is what it is. It's like all things Hermes, it never goes your way. 
my friend ended up buying an Oron sandal for 510 and once again she let me pay to build my profile so she told me that oh unfortunately they didn't have anything left today and and tell me to try to buy again and tomorrow like the next day was my last day in can but I wasn't gonna give up um I think at that point even if I left empty-handed I wouldn't be really upset either because you know all the things I bought are things that I really like and I did get them at a very good price one thing she told me is that uh, I think it's like with most Hermes store worldwide that shipments come in randomly throughout the day some days they get it some days they don't and security measures it doesn't come at the same time so they don't know what's coming when when it's coming and things of that sort so it could just be that both times I've gone to the store too late and everything, you know, all the good stuff has been sold, which is possible. And also each time she did try to like go in the back and look, but it's just like nothing. So we're on to the third day, which is my last thing can and my last chance at scoring a bag. So that morning, right after having breakfast, I went to the store. That store opens at 1030. I got there around 11 and at which point there was a small line outside the store. The wait was about 15 minutes. As soon as we got in, we checked in with the hostess. There were two of them. I asked for my sales and to simplify the story, let's just say the sales name is Christina. It's not, I already forgot her name, let's just say it's Christina. So I talked to the salesperson and I was like, oh, I'm here to see Christina. And their response was that she was not there that day. And my friend and I was just like looking at each other completely in shock because the night before she literally told us I could go at any time and she'll be there to assist me. So we looked at each other, scratching our heads. I turned around and told that, um, you know, Christina said she was going to be here and that she would have a mini Lindy ready for me. I mean, she didn't exactly say that, but I just, you know, try to <laughs> sell my case. Um that point they were like okay that's fine we will have someone else help you they put us onto the queue and the previous two times i was able to get assisted fairly quickly the first time was about 15 minute wait the second time was specifically for christina so i was just waiting for her to you know finish up with the clients she was with and that took about like another 20 minutes on the third day i, I really wasn't expecting that long of a wait and I was at the store, I think, quite early. So my wait turned out to be like an hour and a half. During that period, I did get really frustrated and a little anxious just because my flight um, going to Paris leaves Nice around three and it takes an hour from Cannes to go to Nice, which means I really don't have that much time left. About 40 minutes into waiting, I went to talk to the host. Uh, I was just checking to see like what's going on, why is it taking so long because I was just like people watching, paying attention to what people are getting and also whether they're like skipping my turns or not because I was seeing a lot of people coming in and going and a lot of people getting assisted who came to the store after me. I bring that point up to the host and he did mention to me that only specific salesperson could um, sell bags and I don't know how true that statement is because the scene I was able to help me with shoes and jewelry and like hats which are all in like different departments so I don't know how true that is. During the an hour and a half period I did one check about twice and the second time I went to talk to them I did mention that I have a flight to catch I really like don't have that much time left and again he just said that most people have been waiting a long time just be patient like you are on the list. At that point, I didn't really want to be that customer, so you know, I went back to um, the couch. I sat and waited even longer, and I just at that point I was just really frustrated. I was like texting my sister, like, "Oh, I don't know if I'm getting a bag because I really don't have that much time left." Um, so I, I'm not sure if it's like a trick that they do to filter out the people who are not serious. I have no idea, but I feel like 80% of the people who came in were getting assisted faster than me and they were leaving and it is true they were not buying like bag items and I did see other customers who have been waiting longer or around the same amount of time 
that I have, so I really don't know what their system is for, for the queue. I did give myself a deadline of like 1 p.m. If no one's gonna assist me at 1 p.m., I was just gonna call a day and give up because it's crazy enough that I went to the store three times during my three-day trip and I just really couldn't miss a flight just for a chance of getting it back and at which point didn't seem likely just because I feel like they were dragging it on and I'm kind of like being played just with the whole thing with Christina where she says, oh, come anytime I'll be here and it turns out she wasn't. It never really had that happen to me before. So about 12.40, finally a sales guy came to me. He introduced me and told him what happened like, oh, you know, Christina told me that she was gonna give me a mini Lindy. And, you know, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> and this guy, he he's not like the nicest guy. Uh, I think his tone was a bit uh, more mean. He was like, oh, this is not how we work here. We don't have like reserve lists. We might not have bags in the bag, blah, 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 blah. But she was like, all right, so what do you want? Let me see if we have something in the back. And also what my name is. Um, he pulled up my profile to see purchase history and also like a wish list item. And Mini Lindy is on there. Well, he went to the bag for a couple of minutes. He came back and he told me that um, he has one in black and palladium hardware, which is not really a color I want for the Mini Lindy. I really wanted something that's a bit more colorful. So I did convey that to him. He said, no, this is the only one he has. And I proceeded to ask if he had other bag styles, like quota bags for Kelly Dance. He didn't say, oh my god, you're like asking me for even more difficult things now. And he said, no, this is all he has. So I was like, oh, that's, that's fine. I'll, I'll look at it. Took me to the back room. We looked at it. I tried it on. I, I just wouldn't give up. I was like, you really don't have another color. And his response was quite surprising and caught me off guard because he just said, if you don't like it, just don't buy it. <laughs> and I really didn't know like what to say to that. I was just like, oh no, I like it, I like it, but you know, I just really want one go, but it's okay, I'll, I'll take it. I mean, there really isn't you know much I could say at that point. It really seemed like he was just not gonna give them even if he did have one. So let's unbox this. Yeah, as you can see, I have not worn this yet. I haven't gotten the chance. And for this bag, I will probably buy some colorful tulis to go with it just because I think black with palladium on its own is a bit, um, or you know, actually, it suits my outfit today, actually. <laughs> so I guess this is like not that bad of a combo. Trying to look on the bright side, this is a very versatile color. I really don't need to worry about color transfer. And another thing is the price point. So, okay. Mini Lindy used to be around like 6400 I'm not sure if there's been a price increase. So after tax, it's about 7 k But I was able to score this bag in the can store for 4700 euro. And with the tax refund, that comes out to be around like 44 which is almost the price, like the same price as a mini flat in America, which is, is an amazing deal. And so really happy with it. It's not my first choice, but um, I should be grateful. If anything else during that visit, I only bought the mini Lindy, and this that's kind of the end of my can journey. Um, I just want to give you a little summary of my experience in Paris because I feel like most of these YouTube videos are success stories about scoring a bag in Paris. But in my personal experience, it was very extremely difficult, like nearly impossible kind of let you know the other side of the story because while you're looking at those videos and you're one of the failures it is kind of upsetting it's like oh am I really just that unlucky you're not alone me too I couldn't get anything in Paris it was impossible so as soon as I booked my trip um I was on purse forum a lot reading other people's experience and tips on how to get a leather appointment and I think from what I've gathered there are two ways to get it one is to through the online system, which is the lottery system, and that is close to impossible. If you get it, it's like winning a lottery. And the other way to get it is to just physically go to the store and ask 
uh, the leather appointment hostess to see if they're willing to grant you an appointment on the spot. And what happened for me was I knew that it was extremely difficult to get an online appointment and I had no idea how the system works. So I actually just started entering my passport information into a drawing a week prior to the trip. You don't know if that helps at all or it's just like a complete risk because if you get it, I'm not there, I couldn't make it. I don't know if that will mess up my future chances. I have no idea. I was just, it was something I decided to try. The entire week I tried, I didn't get anything, I didn't get any appointments, and for the duration of my trip there, I didn't get any appointments either. The hotel I was staying at was about 8 minute walking distance from the Fault Work store, so every day that I was there, I um, went to see it, you know, cancellations. And I also did go to you know other stores just to try once each time. I just I was really determined and I set out to get a bag. Um, but I would say like each time I tried it didn't really take up that much of my time in the store for maybe 10-15 minutes and once I get a rejection I just leave. Each rejection from the hostess came in like some were like really nice. I think most of them were really oh no we're sorry we um, really can't help you, you have to go through the online system. But there was one host I encountered, she was quite rude and mean. So when I tried to like go up to her to talk to her, she even tried to like reply or say anything. She would, with like a faint smile and just like shaking her head. Like, that's what she did. She didn't even say anything. I was just like, okay, I guess it's my cue to leave. That kind of concludes my Paris experience is the future I really wouldn't even consider getting a bag in Paris as a possibility just because it's like so difficult. I think you're probably better off going to other European cities if there are a couple of days maybe try what I did in Cannes. And also there are enough stores at different terminals in the Paris airport. I was flying out of 2A which has a smaller Hermes store Obviously, me being me, I went and, you know, tried to give it my shot. And I didn't really walk away with any bag, but I did walk away with another pair of the cheaper sandals. I was not expecting it because when I went to ask for these in the pair of stores, they were just like not sold out. They didn't even like try to look, it's just like sold out. Um, so I do recommend trying your luck at the airport store just because I have personally purchased a Constance 24 from the airport back in 2018 or 19. So it is a possibility. I think for people who are traveling through the Paris airport, you should definitely also give it a try because you never know what you might you know, walk away with. So that concludes my Hermes journey in France. I mentioned earlier in the video that I will do a separate video for my non Hermes purchases because as you can see this was a pretty long story. I hope you guys enjoy the story and maybe have some takeaway and hopefully this will help you get a bag in the future. Have a comment below if you have any questions or if you like the video or the contents please subscribe. Thank you!